yogis welcome to yoga with lynette today i've got a very slow flow vinyasa for when you feel a little bit sore in the body so all you need is your yoga mat and an open heart and let's get started uh, so to begin, we are going to come into a wide-legged child's pose. So big toes come to touch at the back and knees are as wide as the yoga mat. And then you sink down low into your hips. Or if your knees are a bit painful today or your body is a bit sore, you can make the child child's pose a little bit smaller by bringing your knees back in and then sinking down low and your forehead touches the yoga mat. You may even bring your arms or your hands behind you to maybe rub your feet a little bit here. So you're either in a wide-legged child's pose or you are just in a tiny child's pose, making yourself very small. So maybe breathe in through the nose here and slowly exhale. Inhaling again through the nose here and slowly exhaling. You may sigh it out through the mouth. Let's take one last deep breath in through the nose and start to bring yourself. If you're in a tiny um, child's pose, maybe you start to bring yourself back up into a wide legged child's pose and then just walk your hands over to the left. Maybe stay here. For a little while and then start to walk your hands over to the right and maybe staying here for a while here and then slowly start to bring yourself back into the middle to a wide-legged child's pose just take one last deep breath in through the nose here and slowly Exhaling through the nose. And your next inhale, slowly start to bring yourself back up. Maybe sit on your haunches here or sit on your legs. Find a tall squat for a little while. And when you do that, I just want you to bring your arms out in front of you and take a couple of wrist circles just to prepare your wrists for the coming um, class and all the pressing that we'll do into the wrists. Maybe reversing the circle. <coughs> And when you're ready, let's meet in tabletop position. When you're here, when you get your alignments right, I want you to just drop your belly down and look up towards the ceiling. Cow pose. And then round your spine, chin to chest, look towards your belly, cat pose. Slowly drop your belly down, look up towards the ceiling. Cow pose. Round your spine, chin to chest, cat pose. Let's do this maybe one last time. Inhale to look up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, chest, chin to chest, cat pose. Maybe one last more time for luck. Inhale to look up towards the ceiling. And exhale, cat pose. And together we meet in a downward dog. So your first downward dog for the day, maybe just find a little pedal here to take your dog for a walk, pedaling your feet in your down dog. When you're ready, step or jump towards the front of the mat into a forward fold, Uttanasana. You may take regdo arms here and just let go of the shoulders and let go of the head. Maybe and then inhale, I want you to halfway lift, hands on shins, straight back. And exhale to forward fold, Uttanasana. 
and inhale to halfway lift hands on shins straight back maybe find a gentle rock and roll up and back your yoga mat and exhale to forward fold as you reach all the way up and then slowly just push the air up into hastasana high mountain pose and then flip your palms and slowly push the way air away back into tadasana mountain pose and inhale to reach your arms up and overhead slowly and flip your palms and slowly push the air away and inhale one last time to push the air up and to hastasana high mountain pose and flip your palms here yeah, maybe take a little bit of a back bend and then slowly push the air away back into tadasana and bring your hands to prayer and then slowly lower down into a forward fold and when you get there inhale to halfway lift ada uttanasana so maybe take a gentle rock forward and backwards in your ada uttanasana as you slowly lower your palms down into a uttanasana forward fold so when you're ready, plant your left palms onto the yoga mat and open your right arm wide open. And then lower it down as you open your left arm and look up towards the ceiling here in your forward fold. Let's do that one last time, planting the left palm and opening your right arm out, looking up towards it. Find a rhythm here. Lower that arm down and flip your left arm out and look up towards it and lower it down and together we meet in a forward fold when you get your inhale to halfway lift hands on shins straight back and exhale to forward fold plant your palms onto the yoga mat and maybe step both your feet back into a plank pose so your first plank of the day, maybe just hold on here for a little while and lower your knees down and lower your chest all the way down and swoop up into upward facing dog. So maybe swaying from side to side here in your upward dog. And I want you to bring yourself all the way back into a child's pose. just taking a little bit of a break here and maybe checking in with your body and seeing how your body feels like here just maybe noticing the difference from when you begin the class till now and on the next inhale i want you to come into a cross-legged sit let me face you maybe so you can see me and when you get here i invite you to just roll your shoulders up and backwards yeah and maybe roll your shoulders up and backwards again and maybe let's take a couple of neck circles here so drawing circles with your nose so you may be drawing wide circles or maybe you're drawing small circles but slowly Maybe you take the breath with you here, inhaling as you draw the circle up and exhaling as you draw the circle down. Maybe reversing the circle here. So drawing circles on the other side, inhaling through the nose and gently exhaling. Inhaling through the nose and gently exhaling. Let's meet back in center. Maybe when you get here, I want you to spine twist. So bringing your right hand over to your right knee and then twist your left hand backwards. And now doing the opposite, bringing your sorry, your right hand over to your left knee and then twist your left hand backwards and bring your left hand over to your right knee and twist back 
Maybe finding a rhythm with this, just twisting. So right hand over to left knee and twist left hand back. Let's maybe meet back in center, reach your arms up and overhead and then maybe drop your right arm down and maybe side stretch to the right here. You may drop your whole elbow down, flip your left palms and then drop it all the way down, side stretch to the left. And then flip your right palms down and drop your elbow all the way down and side stretch to the right. And maybe let's find a rhythm with this. So at your own pace, just twisting over to the right, twisting over to the left, inhaling through the nose. And when you're done, I want you to inhale up your hand, reach your hands up and over. And from the chest, slowly start to forward all the way um, down into a cross-legged forward fold so you may bring your elbows down here you may lower all the way down onto your chest just find what feels good for your body maybe taking a couple of breaths here when you're ready i want you to just walk your hands over to the right and maybe rest your forehead onto your right knee when you're ready drop your right elbow down and twist open your left arm and look up towards it and drop it all the way down and come through center to twist all the way to the left and rest your forehead onto your knee as you lower your left elbow down and reach your right arm up and over or the other side, whichever side you did on that side. And then coming back to center and slowly bringing yourself back up, rolling your shoulders up and back. And maybe let's come into an L sit here. When you get to your L sit, just make sure your chest is lifted and you're finding that straight spine. Maybe drawing your shoulders up and backwards here and reaching your arms up and over. And slowly from the chest, forward fold all the way down so you're gonna have to find what feels good for your body here so maybe you are just you're holding your toes or maybe you're holding the your heels maybe you're just holding your shins maybe you're just holding the sides of the yoga mat but make sure you're finding that lift through the chest if you're not forward fold if you haven't forward fold all the way down and just maybe slide yourself up as you slide yourself up slide your right leg up and cross your right leg over the left and reach your arms up and over and wrap your left arm around that right leg and then twist to the back with your right arm so inhaling once here and then exhaling and then slowly bring it back to center arms up and over and then find another forward fold all the way in your ulcer So when you're ready, slide yourself back up as you also slide your left leg up and you cross that left leg over the right and you reach your, your arms up and over and you wrap your right arm over that left leg and then you slowly twist backwards, looking all the way back towards that left arm. Inhaling through the nose here and gently exhaling.
when you're ready start to bring yourself back up and cross the legs and reach your arms up and over and forward all the way forward again to find that forward fold So still finding what feels good in that forward fold. You may be holding your toes. You may be holding your heels. Just find what feels good here. And slowly slide yourself all the way back up as you bend your knees, making sure that your knees are parallel towards the ceiling. And your feet are planted onto the yoga mat to get ready for boat pose, nivasana pose. So maybe see if you can tippy toe onto the yoga mat. So instead of planting all your feet onto the yoga mat, your tippy toes are onto the yoga mat. And hold your knees here. Your right knee with your right hand and your left knee with your left hand. And maybe see if you can lift your legs up here so that your shins are parallel towards the ceiling. Maybe take a take a quick look at me if you're a little bit confused as to maybe where we are. And see from there if you can lift your legs all the way up so you can look at your feet or your toes. And then maybe reach your arms out here. And lower all the way down and just give yourself a little hug here as we prepare to do that again. So inhaling again here as you tippy toe, find a tippy toe on your yoga mat and holding your knees with both your hands and seeing if you can lift your legs slightly up. And then seeing if you can face your shins towards or parallel to the ceiling. Maybe if you can, reaching your legs all the way out in front of you so you can see your toes and reaching your arms out into boat pose. So maybe inhaling here and then exhale, lower your feet all the way down and give yourself a little hug. So inhaling here as you come into a cross-legged sit and then maybe just forward fold for a little while here. Put your elbows all the way down and lower your head down. And inhaling through the nose here and then maybe pressing into your elbows and coming all the way into as if you're coming into puppy pose. So knees are as wide as you can or as they can. And then your elbows are onto the yoga mat and then you reach your right hand up and over and then you just cross it under your left arm to thread the needle and then you lower your ear and your right elbow onto the yoga mat and your left arm you straighten your left arm out in front of you and maybe you also straighten your left leg here just finding what feels good in your thread the needle so you may even bring your right arm backwards to twist it or wrap it onto or around your right leg. And you may even open your left leg even wider. Just finding what feels good here. Inhaling through the nose. And slowly exhaling. Maybe making sure that you're not dumping all your weight towards your neck or in your shoulders. Finding a balance throughout the body. And then you have to slowly start bringing your leg up. And bring yourself back up into puppy pose. And let's get ready to do it on the other side. Reaching your left arm up and over. Threading it underneath your right arm. And straightening your right arm here. If you have a ponytail, you may go ahead and undo your ponytail. And then lowering your, your left elbow down or your left shoulder down and your left ear down. And that right arm is straightened and your, left, your right leg is also straightened out here. So you may bring your right arm to wrap it around your left leg as you inhale through the nose. So maybe seeing 
that what you did on the other side is the same thing that you're doing on the side. So inhaling to get ready to come out of your thread the needle and then come all the way into puppy pose just open your knees as wide as you can and then lower your chest all the way down and straighten your arms here into puppy pose so you may adjust your puppy pose as you wish here maybe you may you may slowly slide your knees backwards or you may even slide your knees inwards here just make sure that you're tilting your pelvis towards the ceiling and your chest is lowered down and your forehead is all the way down onto the yoga mat. If this feels a little bit uncomfortable today, you may just stay on your elbows and take a deep breath in through the nose here. And slowly exhale. And when you're ready, I want you to slide all the way down onto your belly to find Sphinx pose. And maybe just drawing your shoulders up and back in your Sphinx pose here, finding a gentle tuck on the chin. Do not never dump your neck backwards. Respect your neck, as my yoga teacher always says. Your neck carries you through a lot of things. So just inhaling in your Sphinx pose here, I want you to bend your right leg and make sure that the toes are facing um, the sides of the yoga mat to find half frog. And when you find your half frog on the right, I want you to start drawing circles with your, with your neck or drawing circles with your nose. And inhaling, maybe taking the breath with you, inhaling as you draw up. And last exhale, I want you to just bring that leg backwards. And then let's find frog pose on the left leg. Bending that left leg and making sure that the toes are facing the sides of the yoga mat. And maybe see if you can distribute the weight evenly throughout your body as you make, if you, as you draw circles with your nose, maybe reversing the circle now. Maybe drawing the last circle and bringing your leg all the way backwards. When you're here, I want you to just make a little pillow with your arms or with your hands. I want you to lower your forehead onto those hands and take a little bit of a rest here. And just notice how your body is feeling, how your legs are feeling and how your chest is feeling. Is there any stagnant air stuck in your chest? How's your belly feeling? Is there anything you can do to maybe untighten the chest if it's tight? So inhaling to get ready for cobra pose, I want you to just bring your arms next to you or on the outside edges of the yoga mat. And then maybe just reach, uh, twist your elbows up here. As you inhale to bring or reach your chest up and look up in front of you into cobra pose and then lower all the way down and then inhale to get ready as you just lift your elbows and lift your chest and your head all the way up cobra and then lower all the way down onto your forehead and from here i want you to bend your knees or bend your feet and see if you can grab a hold of the outside edges of those feet with your hands and when you're here i want you to just see if you can reach your chest up and your head up as you hold onto your feet bow pause and maybe lower your chest down here and let's try again one more time grabbing a hold of the outer edges of your feet and lift your chest up and lift your head up and see if you can maybe rock forward and backwards into bow pause and when you're ready, you can come all the way back into that resting pose where your palms are just in front of you. Or if you like, you can try bow pose one more time. Yogi's choice. And 
when you're ready you may bring your hands next to you and just shift your weight back up into a plank pose so maybe <clears throat> let's just move through a vinyasa here lowering your knees down and together we meet in an upward facing dog and just swaying from side to side and curl your toes under and together we meet in a child's pose let's just take a little bit of a rest here not here for long and when you're ready i want you to come all the way out of the child's pose and maybe from your child's pose i want you to start preparing to come all the way onto your back and when you get onto your back i just want you to maybe bring your just reach your feet out all the way up that so that your feet are parallel towards the ceiling your feet are straight ahead in front of you when you're ready i want you to just try and see if you can reach your toes with your arms so you lift your head and you lift your chest and then when as you do this i want you to breathe in i want you to breathe in before you do this and then when you lift up to try and reach to your feet you draw breaths out so you blow three times so inhaling to prepare and exhaling as you try and grab a hold of your little toes so maybe when you're ready here i just want you to bring your knees into your chest and give yourself a little hug when you give yourself a little hug I want you to just bring your feet over and maybe grab a hold of your left foot and massage your left foot. Maybe massage your right foot here and massage your little toes. Just sending a signal to your legs, your feet and your toes that they are loved. And you're grateful for them for carrying you through the earth, for holding you. When you're ready, I want you to bring your hands onto your knees, your right hand onto your right knee and your left hand onto your left knee and start drawing circles with your knees. So you may draw wide circles with your knees or maybe you're drawing small circles with your knees, just finding what feels good and finding what feels great for your knees as well. So maybe inhaling to reverse the circle here. Because in yoga, what we do on the right side, we also do on the left side. To even out and find balance. So when you're ready, just grab a hold of your knees and hug, give yourself a little hug. And use your, your right hand or your left hand to just lower your left foot all the way down. And keep your right foot up up and over and grab your right knee with your right hand as you find or draw circles with your ankle here maybe your left hand is just draped out or holding your left thigh so you maybe pull your right knee here towards your right armpit as you still draw the circles reverse the circle in your ankle When you're ready, drop that right leg down and let's do that on the other side, on the left side. So grabbing a hold of your left knee with your left hand. And then drawing circles with your left ankle. Maybe pulling that left knee towards your left armpit as you reverse that circle on your ankle. Inhaling through the nose here as you maybe bring both your knees up and over. And maybe you grab a hold of the outside edges of your feet to come into a happy baby pose. So you have an option to take plow pose here if this is in your practice. Option to play. It's totally up to you. Yogi's choice. Otherwise you stay in your happy baby. I'm going to stay in my happy baby for today. 
so maybe finding a rock and roll side to side here gentle rock and roll like just like a happy baby as you also inhale through the nose and gently exhale and when you're ready just come into supta baddha konasana reclined butterfly or sleeping butterfly maybe just bring your arms up and over here just drape your arms on the sides or up ahead and relax in your supta baddha konasana maybe you close your eyes here and just take a gentle rest So maybe resting your lower back here and just seeing how your hips feel from all the hip openers that we did And when you're ready, just maybe slowly bring your palms to your belly as you get ready to come into Shavasana, Cope's Pose, our last pose of the day. So maybe taking one last inhale through the nose here. And slowly exhale. One more inhale through the nose. And when you exhale, I want you to just drape your feet out in front of you into Shavasana, corpse pose. Maybe your arms are just draped out to the sides here. You may bring your arms to your belly, just finding what feels good. And I invite you to just tap your eyes closed here. When you do that, I want you to just gently rest your ankles and flop your feet out to the sides even more. Rest your knees and rest your elbows and rest your shoulders. Rest the back of your head down. And I want you to just pretend as if I've just come over to the screen and placed a warm warm towel underneath your lower back and just maybe pretend as if the earth has just come down to meet you even more and when you're ready bring your knees over to your chest and maybe move over to one side just use your one hand as a pillow and relax here And when we're ready, let's meet in a cross-legged sit. When you're here, I invite you to just roll your shoulders up and back. And thank you so much, yogis, for practicing with me today. I hope everyone has a beautiful day. Namaste.